Welcome to the Lee Weekly Spotlight, presented by Landmark Insurance Group. I'm Kensington Whelan. And I'm Carmen Lestoria. Today we begin with the men's cross country team. Head coach Caleb Morgan led the Flames to a program and university first South Region title. The Flames had also won their second consecutive Gulf South Conference team title two weeks earlier. Coach Morgan was named the South Region Coach of the Year this past week. The Flames and Lady Flames will both participate in the NCAA Division II Cross Country Championships on November 19th in St. Leo, Florida. The ladies finished third at the South Region Championship. The meet will be broadcast live online via NCAA.com. The women's soccer team lost to Mississippi College in PKs in the semifinals of the GSC tournament, but thanks to a fantastic regular season, the Lady Flames will play on as they qualify for the NCAA National Tournament for the second straight season. Lee opens with Barry University on Friday at 2 p.m. down in Miami, Florida. The Lee volleyball team stepped outside of conference play on Tuesday night and outlasted longtime rival Trevecca Nazarene 3-2 and two on the sport court in Walker Arena. The Lady Flames re rebounded from a lackluster start to take down the Trojans in the tie-breaking set. Lee is now 4-1 and one on the year in five set matches. On Friday, the Lady Flames swept West Georgia 3-0 and zero in the annual Volley for a Cure match. The Lady Flames are now 13-13 on the year and 9-9 in the GSC with just two regular season matches remaining. After scoring the program's first victory ever over an NCAA Division I women's basketball team in the University of Memphis, and then defeating Bryan College in the exhibition games, the Lee women will officially tip off the 2016-17 season on Friday and Saturday. The Lee basketball team will be pitted against St. Leo in the opening round on Friday at noon, and then battles Florida Southern on Saturday at 2 p.m. The Mocs made the Elite Eight of the NCAA Division II tournament last season and are ranked number six nationally heading in to their season opener against Shorter. Lee University men's basketball began the Bubba Smith era on homecoming afternoon in Walker Arena with a 173 exhibition victory over Piedmont College. The contest was deadlocked at 35 at the halftime break and the visiting Lions managed to stay close until the final eight minutes of the second stanza. The Flames began to knock down shots and make stops on the defensive end, much to the delight of the large homecoming crowd. After six seasons of directing the Lee University men's soccer program, head coach Paul Fury submitted his resignation to Lee University president, Dr. Paul Kahn, this past week. He said in a statement, it is with a heavy heart I find it necessary to step down as the head men's soccer coach at Lee University due to personal reasons. Fury came to Lee after a 21-year head coaching career at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. During his six seasons at Lee, he directed the Flames to a 66-41 and 13 record, including a 2014 NCCAA National Championship. This has been your Lee Weekly Spotlight. For Carmen Lastoria. I'm Kensington Whelan. Until next time, go Flames!